make sure you follow along with these notes and record them uh, in the note packet that you guys got yesterday. So the reason why we practiced yesterday was so we could actually start doing two variable inequalities. You have to remember how to actually graph a line. So I'm going to go ahead and follow these steps. I'm going to basically do the same thing I did with one variable inequalities. So we're going to turn this into y equals, and then we're going to graph that guy. So we'll go y equals 4x plus 2. Okay, now we know that the y-intercept is going to come from the 2. So let's go ahead and plot that first. Then we're going to go back up. I'm going to turn my slope into a fraction. And remember, that's my slope m. So it's positive 4. So I'm going to go up 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4, right 1. Let's plot that point. Let's do it again. 1, 2, 3, 4. Plot that point. Let's get rid of the stairs. We don't need those anymore. And now here's where things get a little tiny bit different, not terribly different. You want to look back at the question and determine if your line, this is your boundary. Previously, it was just a number. The boundary this time is the graph. So I'm going to take a look back at the original and we'll see that the inequality sign has an equal to. So normally, that would have been like a solid dot. But since we're doing a whole line here, we want the line itself to be solid. So we're going to go back and we're going to graph this with a solid line. Now that we have the line, which is the boundary, we still need to determine where the like arrow would point if we were talking about a number line. Except this time, we have these whole regions that we're looking at. So we've got this entire left-hand side of the line, or we've got the entire right-hand side of the line. So kind of like the number line, we went right or left. Now we just go on different sides of the boundary. We've got to figure out what side we're going to go on. So what you want to do at this point is you want to choose a point that is not on the boundary. Choose something that is obvious. So I'm going to choose a point way over here. And I'll put a I'll put a green X on it. Right there. Clearly on the right side, not even close to the boundary. And that point itself is going to be 4, 0. What we're gonna do is we're gonna plug 4, 0 in up here. So back up to the question. We're gonna test 4, 0. Remember, the first number is the x, the second number is the y. And we're going to plug it into the inequality itself. So y less than or equal to 4x plus 2. Okay, plug in, plug in, grab our calculators. Don't move things from one side to the other, just do the math. So we would do 4 times 4 plus 2, which we know is going to give us 18. And then... Ask yourself if this is true or false. Well, in this case, this is definitely true. Which means the point that I chose to test worked, which is clearly on the right-hand side, which means the shading that I am going to do is going to be on the right-hand side. So I'm going to go from my boundary, and I'm going to shade to the right. So that means that every point in that green region, if plugged into the original inequality, would give you a true statement. Okay, let's move on to the next one. So same idea here. I'm going to go ahead, figure out what the boundary is. So let's turn it into an equal sign. And let's go ahead and graph this line. So I know it's 0, negative 1, 
The slope is negative one third, so I'm gonna go down one, right three, down one, right three. I like to go all the way across my graph if I can. Okay, then back to the question. Take a look at the inequality sign. Notice it doesn't have an equal to this time. So what we want is we want to put a dashed line. So what you can do, if you want, so you can go ahead and make it a solid line, but then just remember to go back and erase little pieces of it. So we can do that. So we'll just erase chunks of it. So there's our dashed boundary. Now you want to pick a number that is clearly anywhere, just as long as it's not on the boundary. Um, I think I'm going to choose something up here. So right there is where I'm going to choose it. I'm just marked in green. And that is going to be 0, 3. So I'm going to test that. And the number, every point is an X and a Y. So just make sure you put them in the right spots. Going back to the inequality. And then plug our numbers in. Just type in the right-hand side into the calculator. And then ask yourself if this is true or false. Is 3 bigger than negative 1? Yeah, it absolutely is. This is true, which means our point worked again. So this is good. So what we want to do is we want to shade towards that point. So I'm going to start at the boundary again. And it's going to shade up towards that point. So that means that everything above the line is going to be a solution to this inequality. Okay, moving on. We've got two more questions to do. Um, actually, why don't you see if you can do 43? At least get the boundary graphed. So pause the video, get the boundary graphed, determine if it's going to be solid or dashed, and then uh, come back and check your graph before moving on. Okay, so here's our graph. Check yours against mine. Make sure it matches. So it's going to start up at 2, so 0, 2, and it's got a negative 2 thirds slope. Okay, from here, we need to choose a point. So why, if, if you're interested, go ahead and pause and see if you can do this part yourself. Uh, if not, just stay with me. We'll talk it through. Uh, and then I pick a point that is clearly not on the boundary. I think I'm going to pick something like up here, right there. And that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So this is 0, 7. I'm going to test that. Remember, that's an X and that's a Y. I'll plug it in. And then ask yourself if this is true or false. Seven less than two. No, this is false. So what that means is that the point that I chose will not work. So instead of going towards the point to shade, I'm going to go away from it. So go the opposite direction. So down here... All of those numbers are going to be one of the, so there's an infinite amount of these. All of the points down there will work in that inequality. Okay, question 44. Uh, we're not going to do a whole bunch of this, but I did want to remind you guys that with our exponential graphs, we didn't do this too long ago. Uh, as a reminder, remember that plus number at the end? That represents our horizontal asymptote. At 
y equals zero. So I'm gonna go to my graph and I'm gonna put my horizontal asymptote at y equals zero. And the only reason I colored it red was so I could see it. Remember, you guys can tilt it kind of at an angle. I know that the four here is my y-intercept. I'm gonna plot that point. And then I just need one more point, so I think I'm gonna plug in one. Okay, now I'm doing the equals part because I'm trying to do the boundary right now. All right, that's gonna give me eight. So I have the point one comma eight. Okay. Uh, if I take a look at this, the number inside the parentheses is bigger than one. So this thing should look like it's growing. And then go back to the inequality. This better be solid. All right. Okay, so remember it comes in and hugs the asymptote on the bottom. And then we're going to go through those points. Now this one's a little bit trickier when you're trying to figure out where your regions are to shade. So what it could be is it could be like inside that little like cup movement. Or it could be outside and it looks like down or under. Uh, you want to choose something that's definitely not on the boundary itself. So I think I'm going to choose 2 comma 2. Oh, that's too big. So 2 comma 2, right there. Clearly not on the black boundary. I'm going to test that. Remember, that's an x, that's a y. So I'll do y is greater than or equal to 4 times 2 to the x. Plug in our numbers. And then type it in. What's going to give us that? 2 is greater than or equal to 16. That's false. So taking a look at this, I am not going to shade towards that. So starting at the boundary, going this way, that's a no. Didn't work. We're going to go the other way. So start at the boundary, and it looks like we're going to be kind of this inside section, or like above. Okay, that covers the notes for today, you guys.